up, dog? Shuts I appreciate down you, when, man. When Pat Queen jump in. What's good with it? Hey, man. Hey, it's your third time on my show, man. I appreciate you, dog. You, you're a real one, man. You're old soul, real one. I love it, man. Love it. Um, What's going on, man? Big win yesterday. I saw you, man. I guess I just found – I'm an old head. I found out about this trolling shit. I was like, this motherfucker trolling the whole Lions fan base. I said, I love that shit. Uh, Bailey, where is it at? Can we pull it up? Uh, the little, he, he, so you tweeted him because, look, I got to be 1,000 with you um, to start this off. I've become, I think, what I despise. So I went from player to coach, hating the media, hating every fucking buddy in the media. I never wanted to hear from nobody. And then now I got a show. I got to talk about all this shit. And it's like, it's like, like, what do you think about the Micah Parsons and the cats that are doing podcasts a lot, like right after their show or right after their games and they're doing these things? Isn't that kind of becoming the media already, even as a player? Yeah, I think so. But I think the real reason they do it is just honestly, like just for the endorsement wise, like the popularity right. to, you know, yeah. just really get their name out there and get some talk about it. Maybe they just ain't got nothing else to do, honestly. Like not a disrespectful way, but Yeah, another another revenue stream, right? Right. That's crazy. I don't I, know. I, I think it's a need for it, though. I, I, I've despised it all the time, and now I got to sit here and talk about, you know, cats take me. Hey, Jamie, you talk about Lamar again. I'm like, hey, I just keep it real. Listen, I, I my buddy that's coming on the show this week who coached Lamar, recruited him to Louisville. Uh, he also coached and recruited AR5. And uh, he knows how I'm old head. I want to I see you in the pocket, complete the ball on time, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, hey, dog, he hits me a text every day. Lamar had his most efficient game of all time yesterday. Where are you at? So I'm like, hey, I got Patrick Queen on tomorrow, dog. He going to let me know. Um, <laughs> hey, wh where are you guys at right now, man? You feel like you could easily be undefeated. You got probably the, one of the best defenses. I know you were pissed yesterday giving up a touchdown late in that game. Uh, I saw your interview. Um, and – like, are you, you think your guys are as good as anybody in the in the in the NFL as far as on defense go? Yeah, yeah I think we're the best, honestly. But you, like, like I said in the interview, bro, we really honestly don't care. Like, they could talk about whatever they want. When they turn that film on, they know who the best is. So that's our whole focus is just going out, putting that shit on film every week, just doing what we do and win, trying to win the game on defense. I love that, man. I love that, man. First of all, nice to meet you, man. I'm always the the guy, if you watch the show, man, I'm 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 a Colts fan because I'm from Indianapolis. But when I'm not representing the Colts, I show love to to Lamar, the Ravens. Like I I, I like y'all style of play. You know what I'm saying? So you know, big fan of how, how you guys do it. Talk about yourself and and, and Roquan uh, Roquan Smith, man, playing next to each other. To me, y'all one of the best linebacker just tandems in the NFL. What is it like playing alongside like a, another great like that? Yeah, it's crazy. Um, I was, obviously, I was watching him when I was in college, in the league. Watched his college film a lot. Watched his league film, and then just being able to play on side of him just been like eye opening. Really, honestly, just seeing how he approached the game, uh, how he thinks. Um, he's probably the, one of the smartest people I know. Josh Bonds and him are probably the two smartest people I ever played with. Mm. And um, just the energy he brings every single day. He ain't one day he ain't got no good energy. So it's definitely a joy to play with him. Uh, in the game, is just be. Should be hitting the wall. I know how it be freaking everything flying around and stuff. And then we got to move on the fly. He'll be like, no, 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 do this or do this, do that. And we both be going back and forth arguing and stuff. We just make it happen. So it's definitely fun. Hey, uh, I was watching your film the other day and I was like, damn, somebody broke you down. And I was like, I showed your film last last uh, year when you came on. And I was like, some of these some of these clips that that you're, you're kind of blowing up a back or whoever. Um, let me show up. A great chance to walk for the first down. You see Queen right here. This one right here is the most impressive one to me. After breaking all this stuff down, like you shedding the blocker. Our, our, the game, all right? I'm just talking in, in general. The game itself, um, you know, old heads like me, it's, it's softer. It's blah, blah, blah. We're getting to this flag football in the Olympics. That's trending right now. Everyone's like, that might be the NFL soon. There's guys in the NFL, your colleagues that are kind of pissed, like, how do we hit a quarterback? How do we hit this guy? How do we hit this guy? I saw Josh Jobs break two tackles yesterday against the Seahawks on his own read. He pulled it, and it's like the two secondary force players that missed the tackles, I'm looking at it as a player and as an ex-coach, and I'm looking like, the motherfuckers don't want to tackle that dude. They're worried about either A, getting fined, B, hitting them low, high, uh, horse collar. Yeah toss tackle now they're trying to get rid of like it's like it's becoming very really hard on y'all to tackle a dude 
in open space. Is that even crossing your mind? No, nah, for me, no. Uh, we they actually be talking about in the uh, defensive meeting room, like how to tackle them and stuff. Uh, obviously, don't be swatting and stuff because you know you hit them in the head. That's a flag, even though if you ain't trying to hit them, trying to hit the ball and shit. Um, Damn. Honestly, bro, I just I don't be caring. I just hit. I don't care if I get a flag, if I get rough in the pass, or whatever it may be, it's whatever. And if, once they outside that pocket, it don't matter anyway. So if they outside that pocket, they get hit. Simple as and that. That's, that's, the, that's the mindset I, I hope people have. Everybody's hitting me on Twitter like, "Well, he's out the pocket." I get it, but ain't nobody gonna blast Mahomes running wide open either. Like cats have that like, oh, you know they're gonna get a flag, and then you're gonna get blackballed in the league because you blasted Mahomes. Like, is that a real thing though? Like the 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 naysayers, you know, look at that. Bro, they definitely do it. Like, obviously, you got like certain players that you respect, and it's like, okay, I might not, I might not like actually off them, but I'm still gonna get a good piece of them and stuff. So, I mean, you just gotta pick your battles, bro. But I, me, I, if I see, I'm, I'm gonna let you know, like me and Joe played together and playoff game. I try to kill Joe on the sideline. So I mean, it's like it just comes with the game. Like you either love the game or you don't. Honestly. Got you, man. And speaking, I'm glad you brought up Joe. Uh, you know, the, I know the Bengals start off a little shaky. Obviously, Joe hasn't been like 100% himself health wise. Uh, it looks like the last couple games, though, he's starting to slowly get back to, to where he was at. And the Bengals are, are kind of starting to get back to, to where they're at. You guys played to me in arguably the hardest division. I mean, as, as much as much as people came to the season not believing in the Steelers, I think they're what four and two right now. They're, uh, I believe so. They're out there winning. Defense is playing well. Um, Brown just, just got a you know a, a good win over over my Colts. Obviously, you guys are lead, leading the division. Like, let's talk about what it's like playing in that in that tough division. Like, every time you guys play against another inter inter division team, you know it's gonna be physical. It's gonna be it's gonna be a battle. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, that's what we were preaching. Like. The whole time they were talking about Detroit, Detroit this, Detroit the best team. They they on their fire right now. This and that. It's like they haven't played us. Like they don't play our brand of football. And that's what that's really why I quoted the video because he was in the video talking about we gonna be physical. This and that. Like show them the real and all this and that. So it's like y'all don't play our type of football. Every single team in our division play physical football. Steelers play physical football. Browns play physical football. Bengals ain't as physical, but they still are a physical football team. So it's like. You just gotta get into that mode. Like you gotta feel that role. You gotta uphold that standard and stuff. So um, honestly, I think we do have the best division in football. Mm. No yeah, doubt, yeah. right there. Uh, everybody picking the Lions, and you're like, "Hey, respectfully, we don't want y'all praises." Um, I love that part. Regardless who talks about y'all, I mean, it is what it is. You you gonna go out there and do you? That's a that's a tightly knitted locker room. I think that kind of shows everybody out there that don't know what football really is or the intricacies or the intimacy in a locker room, a bunch of brothers that are actually bonded. The NFL locker room is like no other, and some of them are split. Some of them are tight. It looks like you guys are tight on the way uh, to getting this thing done. Um, the, the Another team in your division, the Browns, and your uh, Deshaun got hurt yesterday, apparently, was out of the game. Um, he got he got this money everyone knows about. He's got this defense over there that's arguably right there with you guys neck and neck as far as the the eye test. I guess they look at the eye test. You see Miles Garrett. You see these guys over there. Um, they give up thirty eight yesterday though. They didn't give up six um, to a backup quarterback in Minshew. Uh, do you do you do you look? Would you are you do you guys look at that stuff? We were talking about that. Do you look at the, like what's going on with other teams like to where we can actually take advantage of their weaknesses? Like oh, and Deshaun's maybe a distraction for that for their yeah. team right now. We gotta hit them. Yeah, it definitely do. Um, uh, we talk about other people's defenses all the time, and like where they rank that, where we rank that. And honestly, it's just like we know how much better we could be. So that'd be the whole focus is just going back to us. Like if we want to go take it, like if we want to be number one, we can easily be number one. We just gotta go take it. And the whole Deshaun thing. I mean, I'll, I guess he got hurt like we one or two whatever running in the red zone they got hit or so right. I mean, let's go back to the quarterback thing like we was talking like if he was to play us like he better get down because once you start running that's the route so yeah, i mean yeah. they they do got a good defense i just don't think they're better than our defense honestly got you man and, and you mentioned too so like i mean you said straight up you believe you guys have the number one defense boom on offense you got one of if not the most explosive playmaker at the quarterback position and you got you got weapons now receiver Tom Muckin is over there you know with a new offensive scheme 
which in my opinion, especially over the last few weeks, you're really starting to see like operate at, at a high level. I'm going to ask you straight up. Is this team Super Bowl ready? And I, I know you can't look that far as a player. I get it. I get it. But I picked y'all preseason to go to Super Bowl. I picked the Ravens versus the Eagles. It's documented on this show. That's what that's what I had going. I think y'all can do it, and I think this is the year to do it. Do you really, like, in the inside, when you look at what y'all got in that locker room, you feel like you guys got the ingredients to actually do it? We definitely do got the ingredients. Are we ready right now? Nah, not yet, honestly. Um, I think we just got to be more consistent to actually, like, build up that confidence, build up that steam, and then just keep it rolling. Uh, I think you'll probably know, like, who's actual Super Bowl teams around week 13, 14, 15. So um, we just got to stay on our stuff. Like, that's what I'm saying. From a defense perspective, like, we so, we'd be so pissed giving up the touchdowns because, like, it's not true, like, what to, to what we do. It's like, okay, they got us in this call or this person's eyes are bad. Like, it's just stupid stuff. Like, it ain't, like, physically somebody manhandling us or beating us just to score. So, um Super Bowl ready right now, but we will be. Hey, uh, Pat, uh, one of our ch- chat members here played played big time D one football. He's a, a Uso as well. He uh, he's in here. He said he said question for you: Would you rather have a big hit or a pick with a a decent return? And what's your favorite coverage as a backer? Mm. Mm. I think it had to be who the right receiver is, honestly, because they got some right receivers that if I get acro- coming across that middle, I'll try to get them, but. I'm going to take the pick, and then my favorite coverage, honestly, probably is, like, cover two because I could just sit there and I could wait and I could just read. Yeah. You the hole dropper in, the, in, in your two? Are you the hole dropper and Roquan's uh, the the kind of the quarter dropper or what? It depends on which one, which way we call it, honestly, because there's, like, different ways we could disguise yeah. it. Yeah. He wearing zero this year, right? Yeah, he got zero, yeah. But I was looking at last year's film. I was like, where the fuck is zero? I was like, oh, he's 18 now it's last year. Yeah, his little chunky stuff got zero. Hey, uh, <laughs> I love that, man. Don't know, but, you know, I know. Um, you out here fishing every day, man. Last last week, you got to go to uh, over over the pond. How was that experience in London? It was definitely dope. Uh, it was like a, a better clean of New York, honestly. Uh, mm. A bunch of stuff to do. People are friendly. Um, just, it's a great vibe, honestly. Then they got actually, like, country out there so uh, i was like i was definitely happy about that staying in the middle of nowhere so really really you didn't get to i, I know you didn't get to drop your yeah. line in the water I was, I was dying too but i didn't get a chance yeah hey, that's uh, crazy. hey now there's rumors out there i'm not gonna break no i ain't gonna say nothing but i ain't gonna be messing with somebody out there man what's going on <laughs> <laughs> hey, if i had a chance just know i would have took it i would have took it first you would have took your shot <laughs> easy Hey, hey, so cats just be talking or 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 what? They just be making up shit, bro. That's actually like he one of my friends, so we was actually like talking about it, and then he was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna just make this tweet." And made the tweet, and it's like, "Oh, uh, so now I gotta." I saw it that night, but I was like, "I can't really do nothing about it right now because if I do it right now, then everybody will be like, oh, you told him to do that, this and that.'" Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just at least wanted it to be like me tweeting in the morning, and people seeing it then. Damn, who, who you guys got next? We got the Cardinals next in AZ. Hey, th- th- that's a team though that uh kind of been cu- making you know they've been covering their spread. I know all these guys out here nowadays. The this is my 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 segue to this question: the Cardinals have covered everyone's spread except for last week of the Ram game. They 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 the Rams kind of got in them, but other than that, do you see an issue with the the the, the, the Twitter fingers and the t- keyboard warriors and everybody out there who are basically fantasy footballers they know nothing about the game they don't know how to watch a football game they don't know what you're doing as far as from a gap to c gap they have not a clue um what you do on a day-to-day basis but then the fantasy thing gets involved and do you think there's more hate now than ever because if their fantasy didn't hit oh patrick queen didn't make the tackle these guys scored i lost a hundred up like i see this shit all the time and i'm like dog this shit is starting to irk me at an all-time level is the fantasy thing becoming a major issue in today's game? I think I think it was always a like a hating part to the world, like just people just hate on people for no reason. But I think it's like nowadays it's media, people like me gonna respond. So I think they get that attention that they want and they try to like use that and just everybody won't be funny nowadays. Everybody want attention and stuff. So it's like 
you just got to take what comes with it, honestly. And fantasy, that's the same way, like, with the freaking ESPN analysts and stuff. They all just watching highlights and watching and seeing the stats. Like, they're not actually watching the game. Like, you got a few that watch the game, like Dan, Ryan, and all those guys. They actually sit there and watch the game. But most of them guys just going off stats and highlights and stuff. So, I think the whole world is just on some see what they see and just grow with it. They either got somebody they love or they hate them. And they probably – the person they love, they probably end up hating anyway. No, I – Hey, I had a I had a little beef with Dan Olofsky like a couple years ago before I started going on Maxby show, and uh, Dan reached out to me. Pat gave him my number, and he calls me like, "Man, JB, you know I, what's going on?" I go, "Nothing's going on. You just it was actually a Ravens game in Lamar Jackson, and he and he broke down a play, and I was like, so it was it was basically counter read, guard tackle pulled. He read the backside five and pulled the ball, and Dan called it zone read, and I'm like." Dog, when are you gonna call this what it is? You on ESPN, you a big dog analy, you know, analyst. And so I was giving them shit on Twitter for a while because I was like, you cats on this big platforms don't even aren't even calling re- the real play out. Like, what really is going on? So I broke it down. He we mended fences, not really the mended fences, but now to this day, Dan hits me up for advice on shit that he's going to go on the show on ESPN for, and I'm like. It's crazy. Cats can hit me up for that shit, but won't come on the show like a guy like you. Right. Real, <laughs> real recognized, real dog. I appreciate yeah, you like yeah. always. Shit. Thanks. Same. So, hey, before, before you go real quick, let, let me ask you this, man. Uh, Jadavian Clowney has been a, a real force since, since he's joined the squad. I don't know Clowney Percy, but I know some guys who play with him. I know he has a big personality. You got any just funny stories that you're able to share on the show? Just just anything, locker room. I, I I hear he's a big gamer, if I'm not mistaken. Just any like funny story that you're able to share. If not, I know it's random, so if, if not, don't worry about it. But I have to ask you. Uh, funny. I don't know about. Fun- I know the only thing is his ass stay sick. He's sick twenty four seven. I don't know what he be having going on, bro. Do be coughing every day. I'm like, bro, you gotta go on somewhere with that stuff, bro. Every single day, and it's not like no regular. How he like? Ah, ah, like. <laughs> The, I'm like, nah, bro. And yeah, then you sit right he behind me coughing? in the team meeting room. What's he that? Be coughing like that? He be coughing. He, he, coughing like, he said, like, coughing, coughing, though, coughing, like, coughing, sick. Like, like, about to die sick. Like, I'm like, bro. <laughs> he said, right behind me in the team meeting room. <sighs> I'm like, oh, no, bro. I'm like, bro, move. Me and Marla look back at the same time. Like, yeah, you got to go, bro. Hey, Future about to be singing in that mother mask up. My thanks. He did wear it, but still, I don't believe in that mask stuff anyway. Oh, hell no. I'm glad. Right. He did. None of us do. Uh, that shit was a hoax. But hey, is what it is, man. Um, hey, I gotta ask you this: When do you? Uh, you already had your buy? No, I brought it not till week thirteen. Oh yeah, that's right. You have a lot. You have a deep right. Where are you going fishing at? Oh, uh, probably back home. Honestly. Really? <laughs> definitely. Yeah. I gotta go. I ain't, I ain't never been fishing before, y'all. It, it's definitely it's on my list though. You, you gotta do it. It's peaceful, bro. Like ain't nobody bothering you. You ain't gotta worry about. What you what you do in your everyday life, bro? You just go out there, catch you some fish. And then I'm a competitor, and the fish be acting like stingy, so you know that be pissing me off. So then I gotta sit out there for freaking twelve hours to try to catch something. Damn, I love hey. it. Yeah, I gotta try it out. It That's is what it is, um, man. I, you know, I wish you the most success, dog. I, I appreciate you coming on. We gotta get you on again, if you, especially getting that Super Bowl. Um, yeah. Hey, tell tell you, I, you gotta do me a favor though. You know, one of my my best friends in the world is on your staff. So you gotta go. You gotta call this motherfucker slap dick. Who that? T Martin. <laughs> so run, run up, run up on T. Who's Lamar's coach, by the way, for everybody yeah. out there. So everybody that don't know shit, they just think I'm just a big old fucking hater. Go holler at T for me, man. Say JB said you a slap dick. Um, yeah, I got hey, T's a great dude, man. T's one of the real ones out there. Facts. He definitely is. Hell yeah. Hey yeah. man, you off today? Yeah. Yeah. And then you back on tomorrow. Are Tuesdays no longer the norm off day for the league? Uh, I know. I, I know some teams in the league be off on Tuesday. Okay, we, so then, we just take off on Monday to get that whole day arrested, man. Hell yeah! Hey, I love what Harbaugh's doing, man, and uh, appreciate what you guys do, man. Uh, much love to you, um, Smitty. Any last words? Hey, man, go out there and do it, my guy. I believe in you. You know what I mean. I, some of us on this show believe in y'all a little bit more than others. That's all I'm going to say about that. Go out there and prove me right, please. Do your oh, thing. I always believe in the defense. <laughs> Tell Lamar, keep doing his thing. Balled out yesterday like I thought he would. And y'all keep doing your thing, brother. Will do. Appreciate y'all for having me, too, for real. Hey, Pat, good luck, man. I'll talk to you soon. Cool. Appreciate y'all.